Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. This is episode 2 of the YouTuber Newbie Island Succession series. I am still Earl Arumba. I'm not dead. Somebody thinks that I should be more ambitious. There are people who think I should be more ambitious and find something to strive toward. Leave me alone, Selleck. Stupid courtier. He's celibate, but ambitious, so he's uh, getting an event to try to encourage me to do something. I should make him my steward. Indeed, I think I will. Need as much income as we can get. We really need a better chancellor. That's what we need. Let's just go ahead and invite a whole bunch of holy men to court. I really have no need for piety, so this is just an easy way to get a bunch of characters. And again, hopefully one of them... Darn, none of them have anything. But we did find a much better holy man. I do think that the holy men are slanted a little bit more towards the uh, education. I think they have to have the education trait, uh, the learning education, but they could have still been built, still been better. This guy's not landed, so yeah, I won't go with that guy. Continue to work on the drooling imbecile. Okay. Until we get that claim, I really can't really do anything. So that's cool. That's one of the reasons why Newbie Island is a slow start. Continue going on hunts until we get rid of, uh, get rid of Slothful. There's an event that can cause you to become diligent and you cannot have a virtue and a, um, and a deadly sin at the same time. So, alright, um, no, I don't want to get injured, so I'll just say I find no joy. Thank you. Appreciate you hunting with me, peoples. Interestingly, I could try to kill my wife, which, don't really see much reason for that. I'm surprised she's not pregnant yet, again. My daughter's already two. But, we shall see. Speed 5! And... Slow down. See, it's time to go to hunt. <laughs> speed 5 unlocks the, uh, the game speed. It just runs as fast as it possibly can. I got my game, uh, my computer's pretty decently overclocked, so it runs pretty quick. Um... I do not recommend trying to play on speed 5. This is about the slowest I've ever played. It's been four years. I haven't even expanded yet. Gosh. We could attack this character over that claimant, um, but he would become a duke, and I really don't want to... It wouldn't benefit me in any way except to have a neighbor that likes me. But I wouldn't even be able to call him into war because he's not... You have to be allied through marriage in order to call people into war. So... No real advantage to it. In the meantime, we could plot to kill someone. Why not? Let's do it. Who wants you dead? No reason at all. I just want to kill someone. It's just something I do. <laughs> Might as well have a feast. Could help out with the plot. Sure, let's spend all kinds of money. Let's spend all the money that we don't have. <laughs> uh, spend money from the account with which I do not have any uh, any money. Force the peasants to hunt. I'll spend just enough. You have a chance of getting the Temperate trait with that choice. It's usually the one that I take. These stats are amazing, though. It's a shame that uh, you can't actually... like, kind of make it more inheritable, but... Uh, the Ruler Designer definitely gives you some pretty powerful starting positions. Okay, if that Bishop doesn't like us by now, then... He doesn't! Look at that, he still doesn't like us. Oh, it's a new one! This isn't the, uh, the inbred... or the imbecile, this is a drunk. 
Gotta love how how great these characters are. Keep, keep coming, my bishops. When you have such a small realm, it really is hard to find good characters to to lead your your position, your councils, because you just have a smaller group of people to draw from. Now, I've of course flooded it with people, but there are quite a few mods that will allow you to do extra stuff. Like you can, some mods will actually give you a button to like invite a chancellor to court, invite a steward to court, etc. And those are pretty cool. Yep, so having the feast made people like us a little bit better, so we've got more people who want to support the plot. The key to good plotting is to try to get over 100%. You have a, a pretty low chance of actually succeeding on a plot if you're below 100%. If you can get to 100, things go pretty quick. Become a scholar. If you can get to 200%, it'll fire almost instantly. But um, as long as you have one plot backer, there's always a chance. But 100%, there we go. So for whatever reason, I've just decided that the petty king of Munster needs to die. I just, I just think he should. I think that his his son, the fat, wrathful, envious, arbitrary kid, should be in charge. Our bishop still likes the pope more than us, so he pays us no taxes, and uh, we get no levy from him whatsoever. You can see that right here. That red bar says that's like the uh, the percentage of the army that we get from him. None. This mayor, on the other hand, gives us quite a few. Uh, you used to be able to hover over it right here to see the percentage, but if you want to see the exact numbers, you've got to go here into the military screen, go to vassals, and you can see here. He could provide us with 232. Due to laws and opinion, he can only give us 65%. And this guy will not do it because he's loyal to the Pope. Very interesting facet to the Catholic religion is that if they like the Pope more than they like their ruler, they completely ignore their ruler. No levy, no income. Which is one of the reasons why I might change church taxation down in two weeks, actually. I'd rather that he pay no one any taxes. He's not paying me taxes now. So I'd rather have him pay no, no taxes and then like me more and actually give me his levy. This should update in a moment. He actually has a decent sized levy there. Look at that. Are you loyal to me yet? What's your problem? Oh gosh, we're four points away. Alright, let's use a uh, an honorary title. We'll make him the master of the hunt. Now, we get 103 extra men. And we could even go higher. If we raise opinion with him further. So let's actually give an honor... Oh, he actually already loves us perfectly. No point in that then. One more improved relations will get him to max. So... I don't know. Newbie Island is uh, a little bit slow paced. That's okay. I'm not upset. Are you upset? Earl of Ossery's stressed out. Probably because he knows I'm trying to take his title. Or I want it. Oh jeez, what can we do? I need more... I need somebody. Let's check claimants again, see if we can find a... Uh... Here's another thing we can do. Let's go to the find character interface. We'll search for all. Let's search for men. Um, and we'll sort by diplomacy. And uh, unfortunately that little green plus thing doesn't exist here. But um, let's see if we can invite them to court just by clicking on them. Hopefully we find somebody. Oh, they need to be not rulers. Because rulers can't come to your court. This is kind of a painful way to do it. Um, and I have not yet found a better way. But eventually there, there will be someone who's willing to come to our court who has high, high diplomacy. Most likely they're going to be of our religion, so actually let's do that. Yes, culture, yes, religion. Watch my, watch my luck. No one will actually... Not a single person will accept. I know this works because I've done it before. We're really scraping the barrel here. We're at uh, 14. That's not even that good.
Oh, come on. Stupid game's gonna prove me wrong. Well, that's unfortunate. I swear I've done it before. Usually they won't come to court unless you can press their claim. Oh well. Let's forget about it. We'll have to do this the old-fashioned way. Slowly and painfully. I remember the very first time I played Crusader Kings 2, I started in Ireland. I think most people do. And it took me forever to create Ireland, but I was so damn proud when I did it. And, uh... It's a lot of fun. This is a great way to get into the game. Notice how, I mean, there's nothing dangerous happening. You're not gonna just instantly lose. So, all the Norse stuff is kind of, kind of out of the way with the 1066 start. What shall we do? Shall we have another feast? Ah, here we go. My co-conspirator, Margaret, has assembled a party of mercenaries who will ambush King Merchad I disguised as highwaymen. Excellent. You should die. Just because. Failure. He got away. <laughs> but they concealed our involvement. We'll have to try again. Indeed we will. Alright, here we go. Sent word that a massive pit of manure has been prepared under the floorboards of an abandoned inn. <laughs> How is that going to kill him? I don't understand. He's gonna he's gonna fall into the manure. Well, we've succeeded. Uh, he perished in the manure explosion. Wonderful. So apparently, we ex we ignited the manure and it caught flame. So we've just put uh, his fat little boy on the throne, the gluttonous, arbitrary Roth character. In general, I think it's a good thing to kill your neighbors. <laughs> it sounds terrible, but it's true. Uh, the weaker your neighbors are, the more likely you are to to take them over. Also, children cannot plot. So, if we kill this character now, his son will go on the throne. And his son is only zero. So that would give us 16 years where we have a next-door neighbor who really can't do much of anything. So I do have a good motivation to, to kill my neighbors, and that's that I, I want to become more powerful. I'm a bit ruthless. Classic. We're gonna kill a kid. Uh, somebody let everyone know I never should have included that drunken blabbermouth in this plot. Okay, so... Ben Moomin. This woman. She's not even a drunk. Well, this, uh, this guy's gonna know about my plot, but uh, that doesn't stop it from firing. We've succeeded! There goes King Brian. He drank some wine that did not agree with him. And now we have a zero-year-old neighbor. We could kill him again, but uh, no real reason for that at that point. Who else is strong? King Aid the Fat. Let's let's see if we can get rid of him too. You could almost consider this to be. This is it's kind of unfair. I have really good stats, so it makes it easier than it should be. But um, I mean, there's still plenty of people who won't accept. We're just pruning. Pruning Ireland. It's gonna be ours eventually, so it's only fair. Northern Lioness needs to be educated. Definitely I shall educate her. Although soon I'm gonna die. I might even die before she comes of age. He, rather. Peddlers selling all sorts of food, clothing, exotic spices, and luxuries, such as glass and jewels, filled the town square with their wares and shouts. Fairs are fun, after all. I could become stressed or kind. Let's give it a shot. Oh, I became stressed. Crap. I find life almost too much to handle. Bah. Fortunately, I took an extra one health, which offsets this stressed modifier, so... I shouldn't be dying any second. I, I should be good for another ten years or so, but you never know. It is a random number generator after all. Yeah, if I don't get a better diplomat, this is just going to take forever. His chances are just so poor. Alright. 
Where's all this piety coming from, anyway? Content. Just from being content, huh? Well. We have a summer fair. Um... An errant monk is disturbing the summer fair by preaching about sins and the end of the world. His drivel is frightening some, but most of the crowd are mocking him and laughing at him. Uh, we'll just say he's part of the fair. The summer fair's archery contest went very well. The clouded space around it was filled with arrows. Some of them had hit the, with the bullseye. Some of them had missed the clout altogether. The winner was a modest man who appeared rather quickly and collected his prize. Uh, we can actually get some money. Or lose money, excuse me. Become cynical or become paranoid. Unable to trust anyone. <laughs> oh, we'll just say Marshall. Find and arrest that man. Not enough supporters to kill this guy. Uh, oh, uh, just just let these people stay. Not too interested in it. Yes, it was great fun. Something I am very excited about is that uh, Paradox has announced two additional years of expansions for Crusader Kings 2. So, there's going to be a lot of content coming up. I don't even know what the content's going to be, but it's a lot. I've really pissed this guy off, haven't I? Would you like some money? Nah, we don't need it. Sweetly, gently, we molded our bodies together and recreated the familiar feeling of us embracing, touching, loving. Gently, we woke the passion between us once again. There's a chance I might die. Interesting. Oh my gosh! <laughs> well, that was brief. <laughs> oh, jeez, I expected to play a little while longer. Apparently, my uh, my ticker couldn't take the love that we uh, that we shared. How did you become blind? That's interesting. So, uh, well, there you have it. Northern Lioness. We'll be playing uh, as uh, Northern Lioness. So, I hopefully will get a chance to play again soon, but uh, I don't know. I feel like I did my job. I kind of introduced you to the series, and um, I'm not sure how long it'll be before it comes around to me again, but uh, I definitely look forward to seeing you again in the next video. So, thanks for watching. See you soon.